today let us do exercise 8a question number 8 if you see the question carefully they give us one of the trigonometric ratio then we have to find the remaining trigonometric ratios so let's start from what we know proceed to the unknown here we have sec theta equal 25 by 7 so i hope you remember the definition of sec theta is the opposite of cos so that means it will be h by b so if we compare here h will be 25 b will be 7. in order to find the other trigonometric ratios we need the perpendicular so draw the right triangle this will be 90 degree so you can place theta in one of those acute angle. You can place from here or here, it's up to you. Then refer to this angle here, you see that this side is very close to theta. So that's why it will be the base. And from here, we already get it equal to 7. Then this side here opposite to nine, uh, theta but near to 90. So it will become perpendicular, which we still have to find. Then opposite to this, we have the hypotenuse, which is equal to 25. Okay, so now we need to find the perpendicular. So H here is equal to 25. Then we put whole square. Then P, we don't know. Let it be there. B square. B, we know it equal to 7. So now you do 25 into 25, it will be 6 to 5. We want only P, so let's this 7 carry it to the other side. It is plus, when you carry this side, it become minus. 7 into 7, you will get 49, it will be equal to P square. So now you minus this 2, okay, since you have minus sign, 15 minus 9. You will get 6. 11 minus 4 will be 7. Then 5 equal P. But we want only P. We don't want square. So you put square root 5, 7, 6. You can find the square root using long division method or prime factorization. But long division method is much faster. 6 you group with 7. 5 leave it alone. Then you go with perfect square here. So we have 2 into 2 near to 4, 5 minus 4, 1, bring down here. So then here you do 2 plus 2, 4. So you check by 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, ending with 6, so we go with 4. If you go here 4, there are also 4. 4 into 4, 16, 4 into 4, 16, 17. So that means the answer is this one. We get that. P equal to 24. Now we get P, we get B, we get H, so we can find the other angle easily. So we have sine theta equal P by H. So P, it is equal to <coughs> 24 divided by H, that is 25. Then we have cos theta equal B by H. B is the base that is equal to 7, <coughs> H equal 25. Then tan theta equal P by B. So P equal to 24, B equal 7. Then we have opposite of sine will be cosec equal H by P. H you know. 25 p you know 24 then opposite of cos already given sec then next opposite of tan that is cot it will be equal to b by p your p here is equal to 7 your p is 24 so we get all trigonometrics that are all we want